So today we're going to take a look at this Etor torque wrench here, half inch drive. Uh, picked it up from Amazon for roughly $110. So let me go ahead and get it unboxed. We'll take a closer look. So of course a blow mold case here it says it's designed in Georgia and assembled in China. Now it is half inch again and it's supposed to be a digital style torque wrench. But the difference here being that it's actually a click style with a digital display. Now the range for this is 25 to 250 foot pounds. If we open it up, I don't know again how long these are gonna last, this style latch, but overall the case is, is pretty nice. Now you do have a set of instructions here and then of course a calibration certificate. On the end, of course we have a forward and reverse ratchet mechanism here and this mechanism is 45 tooth. Now it does sound pretty good and there is a little bit of play there. We may open this up later on and take a look at that. So you have chrome there and that's kind of a satin finish here. Again, it does tell you the model and the range with the torque of plus or minus 3% clockwise, plus or minus 6% counterclockwise. As we move on down, you can see we have the display here. Underneath this, if you take the screw up, is the batteries. Then we have two simple buttons here, on. So we can click the red one for on. And then we can change, go from foot pounds to inch pounds to Newton meters there. Let me hold this. So if you hold it, you can turn the backlighting on. So Newton meters and kilograms. You can notice right off the bat, we do have a problem here with this display. We're missing two of the bars, but that shouldn't affect our testing. Uh, also, you can see the life of the battery right there as well. Now, as you move to the back, the grip to me, I mean, it's mostly hard plastic. I think this is supposed to be rubber, but boy, it feels like it's hard plastic as well. And it's, it's pretty slick here. So just be aware of that. Then when you go to the back part here, pull back for adjustment. And then all you have to do is spin this and you can see that torque setting changing. Now, this being what I would assume would be a spring style inside, you're gonna wanna default this all the way back down to zero. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get it over on the tester we're going to do a few warm-up cycles seeing it is a spring style and then we'll go ahead get it audited and see what it looks like all right so i cycled it a few times there let's go ahead got her set to 50 now all right now we're going to do 150. Now, this is going to be tricky because this is kind of a short handle. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cycle this torque wrench a thousand times like I did the rest. All right, so cycle her a thousand times at 125 like I normally do half of the max. Now we'll go ahead and audit it again and see if it's still as accurate as the initial audit. One fifty. And then two fifty. So when we compare the audits here before and after, you can see we have the tests at 50, 150, and 250. One thing I'd like to point out here is look how close these numbers are uh, to each other. So the accuracy between the test, of course, that's comparing all three test results within that torque setting. And you can see that deviation uh, of accuracy right there. 
And again, between 50, 150, and 250, it is really close. Now, accuracy between target torque, that's going to be how close we got to 50, how close we got to 150 and 250. It's almost all sub 3%, which is what this torque wrench is supposed to do with 150 after 1,000 cycles, we're looking at 3.10. So if we take that accuracy and then factor in the plus or minus 0.5%, here's what we come up with. And this is the range, of course, what the torque wrench would be in from the test results. So again, the only thing that really jumps out is after 1,000 cycles, the 150 foot-pounds, where if we add 0.5%, we get 3.60. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this ratchet mechanism. So we'll pop this snap ring out of here. So internally there, it looks pretty good. Now this is a self-contained unit not preferable, but I think it'll definitely do, do the job. Teeth look pretty good. We can switch that over to the other side there. And you can definitely see there's some movement in that mechanism. Again, when we put the head back together, a little bit of movement there. Now battery wise, if we pop the cover, so underneath that cover, you can see we just have two button batteries there that are powering the unit. So there you have it. Overall, I'm actually quite impressed. Um, definitely with the accuracy there. Yeah, we were right at the threshold there for one of the tests at 150. But overall, it seemed to be sub 3%. But to me, anything below 4% is quite accurate. The ratchet mechanism seems pretty good for what it is. Now, as you've seen, they are button batteries and you're gonna have to take the screw out to remove them. So just be, be aware of that if you're storing this for a long period of time and you wanna do that. Display wise, that's where we ran into the problem here. You've seen that the display did not fully register. Um, it seems like it's damaged internally. To me, I think that's more of a shipping problem more than anything else. Now you can see the size of this torque wrench, which is quite a bit bigger and wider than even the torque wrench in the case. Now you can look at all the damage on the end of this box. And when there is zero packaging inside, it makes you wonder if the actual display problem uh, could, be, could be from you know, rough shipping. Now the grip, uh, not the best, and also the length. I wish it was a little bit longer. I did have trouble, as you've seen there, at 250 foot-pounds. But adjustment-wise, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. And this is where I think this torque wrench shines, is that you can go ahead and change this from foot-pounds to newton meters to inch-pounds right here, and it's easy to read on the display. That being said, it's not gonna give you angle. It's just gonna give you the torque readout and it's not gonna give you actual torque. It's just gonna show you what your setting is, unlike other digital torque wrenches. Your audible click, like a normal click style torque wrench, that's what's gonna tell you when you're at your torque, which actually, I think that makes this torque wrench unique. And I kinda like it, to be honest with you. You can, if you're not really good uh, with using a torque wrench, you may actually want to steer clear of normal digital torque wrenches because they take some finesse versus here you have a click style you keep constant pressure click done digital torque wrench you start getting close and then you need to slow it down uh, until you get to that torque so so this is definitely something to consider if you're looking at a budget digital torque wrench again you're not going to do angle and you're not going to have an active readout but you can easily look to see what the setting is in different units. So overall, I will say I am, I am quite shocked. It seems to be pretty good. Again, I think the display that happened in shipping, this one's gonna have to go back to Amazon, but I think for the money for roughly around a hundred bucks, being that's a digital style of torque wrench, it's not 
quite a digital torque wrench, but it gives you a digital display. You know, I think it's worth, I think it's worth the money and worth the shot. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I catch you on another one.